I have a question for you. What will it take to get America growing by 4% again? Well, Charlie, that's too easy for me. You take it. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> Doing it. A lot. It's not going to be easy. No, but if, if population grows 1% a year and GDP in real terms grows 2.5% a year, by the standards of 2,000 or 5,000 years, that would be remarkable. I mean, it would, you know, it would, it would result in, you know, a, 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 a quadrupling of real GDP per capita every century. Uh, it, we don't, it's nice to have 4% in real terms, but 2.5%, uh, uh, it may be slow in getting us out from the slump that we entered into a few years ago, but it's a really, it's, it's a remarkable rate of growth for a country that already enjoys a very high standard of living. It's a remarkable rate of growth for a country, a company, a country that has 1% a year gain in population. It is, it is huge over one person's lifetime. I've used this a lot of times, but in my lifetime, the real GDP per capita has increased six for one. Uh, but it's nowhere near 4% per annum. No, it's staggering, it's staggering. And we have $48,000 or thereabouts of GDP per capita in the United States. We, we are unbelievably rich, you know, but an awful lot of people are, are not feeling that way, and, and in many cases for good reason. But uh, we have, we've, got, we've got a tremendous country to work for, I mean, uh, to work with. It, it's, uh, it's got all kinds of strengths. And it has this huge abundance uh, that if my parents back in 1930, if you told my mother and father that, that when I was 81, that I would be living in a country that had six times the per capita output uh, of their day, they would have thought, you know, that this would be a utopia. And it hasn't been bad, I might add. <laughs> The, uh, but it's, our country is not a mess. Uh, you know, our politics may be a mess, uh, but the output is, you know, is, is terrific. Mm -hmm. I, Charlie, if you had to guess at the real growth rate per capita over the next 20 years in the United States, what do you think it would that, be? That's after inflation. No, oh, right. no, this is just real. Right, yeah, real. That's yeah. what I mean. But yeah. I mean, after taking inflation out yeah. of it. Yeah. Well, if God would make a guarantee, I would settle for a very low figure. I think we're a very mature economy uh, with a lot of social safety net a lot of competition from new nations rising. I think, I think 1% per capita in real growth would be a sensational result. Yeah, which in 20 years means people would be living yeah. close to 25% better on average. Yeah, yeah. That's not bad. And so I think when you That's get the your, next generation. In one generation, they improve. When you get your expectations too high, when you think that 4% is what the world ought to provide you, it, you're asking for trouble. It won't do it. That's what yeah. happened in the housing boom. People got these foolish dreams, and then they just started doing foolish things to try and reach unattainable yeah. objectives. But if you had the one percent, you would be talking about you yeah. would be talking about each generation living something, oh, yeah. over, it would something be, over twenty percent better than their parents did. From this base, it would be a sensational result, and we'll probably get it. In my view. But, uh, it won't come in even increments, but, but uh, this system still works. It, it, it works. And incidentally, you've actually seen, even after the incredible crash, in effect, that we had in fall of 2008, you've seen an enormous amount of resilience here. And of course, you compare it with 
Europe, and it, it looks particularly strong. But yes, but the resilience has been better for the businesses than it has been for yeah. the employment yeah. situation, which yeah. is too bad. Yeah, business has done extraordinarily well. You know, business business profits as a percent of GDP were right at the height. You know, last year, and of course our own were. I mean, it, uh, uh, and that that produces a lot of strains in the, in the political system. Well, we mused enough on that, so let's go to Station Ten.